We showed you burgers earlier in the show, but barbecue chicken is about as American as you can get. American classic chef Scott Peacock shows us it's all about the homemade barbecue sauce in today's Better Bites. Hi, I'm Nancy Hopkins, food editor for Better Homes and Gardens magazine, and I'm here today with Scott Peacock, and we're making another American classic. What are we making today? Oven barbecue chicken. Wow, how do we get started? So we're gonna start with the sauce. And in this pot, we've got a little bit of butter melted up here, and we've got some really finely diced onion. And we're gonna add that in. And what some next? chopped garlic. Garlic. So just cook those. Yeah, just till they're this, soft. You don't okay. want to color them. We're not trying to get any color. We're just trying to soften them up. And then we've got some salt. Is that kosher salt? This is kosher salt. Okay. And some crushed red pepper. For a bit of heat. And some chili powder for flavor. This is paprika. Ah, okay. So again, not so hot. We're getting all the heat from the crushed red pepper, really. It really does smell delicious. Pour in some water. And we're gonna pour in some cider vinegar. What's this, molasses? This molasses oh, I love which molasses. Which has a fantastic flavor. And that gives it a lot of body, I bet. Body and flavor. This is so simple. It feels like a lot of ingredients, but it's really just add, add, stir, exactly. right? Exactly, and they're all pantry ingredients, too. The Worcestershire sauce, and we've got some brown sugar. Oh, and tomato paste. And then paste. tomato paste, which will really thicken it up and give it that great tomato flavor. And that's it. And then you're just going to bring this up to a simmer and cook it for about 15 or 20 minutes. That's it? That's it. So Nancy, we've got two whole chickens that we've cut up into pieces. That's a great way to feed a crowd. It's really economical too, right? Absolutely. And we're just going to season it up really good with some salt and pepper. So you've browned these off on both sides. Yes, seasoned them well and browned them. Why do you have the, the breast in a pan separate? Because the dark meat takes longer to cook. We're going to cook this for almost twice as long as we do the breast. And if you were to cook the breast that long, they would get stringy, whereas mm -hmm. the dark meat is going to get really tender and falling off the bone. So we're going to put just a little bit of chicken stock. You could also use water, just to about a quarter of an inch worth in the pan. That's just going to give some moisture and help in the cooking. Okay. And then we've got this delicious sauce now that's thickened up that's and cooled down. Gorgeous. Really, really good. And we're just going to spoon it over the chicken. Just to barely cover? Yeah, a generous cover, I'd say. Why the parchment? There's a lot of vinegar in the sauce, so it's very acidic, and that could react with the aluminum foil. So having the parchment in between the foil and the sauce mm -hmm. will keep that from happening. I see. So these are out of the oven and ready to go. And what we've done is we cooked the breast for about half an hour and the dark meat for about an hour and 10 minutes. Okay. And then we took the foil off the top and cooked them a little bit more till they were glazed over really nice like they are now. And we're ready to eat. Scott, I can't wait to dig in. I'm Nancy Hopkins. Looks good. Thanks, guys. If you missed anything, you can watch it again on our website, bettertv.com. We'll